Hello, I'm going to show you how I do heated wand curls on my natural hair. Before braiding my hair yesterday, I sprayed Cantu's Thermal Shield Protectant Spray into it. So I'm just going to take these braids down and comb them out, but I might add a little bit more spray. Gotta use a heat protectant when you're using heated tools. Changed my parting over and now I'm just going to comb out the braids to give myself that heatless blowout look. and I've sectioned off the front. I'm just going to split the back section off um, vertically, vertical, horizontally, and um, work in kind of medium sized sections to create a curl. size that I think I want my curls to be. I'm going to take my wand curl, this is a 19 millimeter barrel and I'm using it at around 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. thing in terms of using heat tools is happening. My arm is getting really tired. Just to show you, this is what it looks like when you wrap the hair around the barrel flat versus if you twirl it around the barrel. So that's what it will look like if you twirl it around the barrel in a rope-like fashion, twisting as you go along. And this is kind of what will happen if you just wrap it around flat around the barrel. You end up with like Shirley Temple ringlets. Still cute!
this is what we look like when we're all done. And I have to thank Shea Butter and Cantu's Thermal Shield Protectant because my hair is still really nice and shiny and rich in colour. Lots of really nice ringlets that have held really well thanks to the barrel that I used. And I'm going to separate it out a little bit but not too much because I do actually quite like the little ringlets that it's created. Ha <laughs> ha